What's going on guys, Andrew here, welcome back to a whiff of this. This is where I check out new and old fragrances, I unbox them, get my first impressions. After that, I smell them on skin and on paper. And today, as you saw from the title, we're gonna be checking out Montel Intense Roses Musk. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Now, like most of my recent fragrances that I bought, uh, this one was recommended to me by Miss Fresh and Michella from Curly Fragrance. It is definitely a feminine fragrance. It literally says for women, but they said just give it a try. So I'm going to listen to them this one time. This time I'm really going to listen to them and see how it smells if this is going to smell good on me. I don't mind roses, but it has to be done correctly. I'm not really a fan of the smell of a rose like the natural smell of a rose, but rose water is not bad. I actually cooked with rose water uh, back in the day when I used to cook a lot. Let me go ahead and run down the price tag on this one. Retail, it goes for $215, even on Montel's website. It does say it is an extra de parfum, which means this is a high concentration uh, parfum. Montel is already known anyway to have great performance, and I actually just wore Woods and Spices today which yeah, it pretty much lasted the whole day. I think I sprayed it like one more time, but I don't even think I did no more than like probably seven sprays. It comes in a 100 milliliter, but I think you can get this on like Scent Split and a couple other websites if you want the sample version. Uh, I usually buy the whole bottle though. I actually got this fragrance off of Fragrance Net and I only paid 94, or really $95. Uh, for this one so it was definitely a discount now the notes in this one are supposed to be rose jasmine musk and amber i think that's the reason honestly why this could honestly smell good on a man or really on me is because of the musk and the uh the amber that's those two things kind of turn a fragrance really a little bit into the masculine side uh the rose apparently smells really good on men so we're gonna see i've never had a rose fragrance before the only other one that i kind of want to check out would be uh i think it's literally just called uh roses by zaharoff uh they make some really good fragrances too but let's go ahead and open it up and as always you already know fragrance that is probably going to give you a bunch of samples because one day not Alrighty, so here it is it's literally it kind of reminds you of a uh, one million packaging when it was a uh, paco raran one million the original that's what it reminds me of it does feel really light though they don't use glass for their bottles at least from my knowledge i don't think they're glass they feel super light That sounded pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Literally gold bar, I mean, this thing is shining in front of the camera. It does have the Montel logo in the top left corner, and then Montel on the back, and it shows in pink, uh, Intense Roses Musk. I'm very curious on how this is gonna be, I really am. So let's see why Michelle and Miss Fresh like this one so much. All right, we're gonna open it up. Oh, this one's a little bit different. This time it comes in a pink, uh, pink font with also pink braiding. That's a nice little touch there. I can kind of smell it. I can definitely kind of smell it already. Man, I don't know. It does smell pretty feminine, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it has a gold cap. That's pretty nice. I love that touch with Montel. That little, that little thing right there is super cool to me. I don't know why I like that. It really actually helps hold the uh, bottle from spraying or the atomizer from spraying spraying Check out the bottle on this one. It's pretty dope. I Like the gradient to it the black and the pink or really that's literally like neon pink or hot pink It almost looks like a neon sign. I can already smell it I don't know if somebody sprayed this already, but I can already smell it It definitely looks like this one's gonna be a fingerprint magnet let me go ahead and take this off so it stops making noise. Montel doesn't go crazy on the bottles like Zerjoff or Roger or something like that. All right, so we're gonna spray this on paper and then I'm gonna spray this on skin as always. And uh, here we go. And I'll spray to the side over here. One, two, three, four, five. So it took five sprays. Hmm. You know, that's not bad. That's not bad, Michelle. That's not bad. You know, I see exactly why they say, you know what? I don't mind this. This isn't bad at all. This is like mellow rose. That's the best way I can put it. It's just enough rose in there to be like, hmm, that's different. I definitely get the flower note, like the jasmine. 
Um, I don't smell too much of the amber. The rose is light. It's nothing crazy. It's just there. It's there enough to where it's like, hey, I'm here. The muskiness, I do get a little bit of musk, but I could definitely see how wearing this on my skin, you know, I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow and see what happens because this one, this smells almost like a better version of rose water. That's not a fragrance. I literally mean like it smells like rose water, but a really good version of it. Um, it's nice and light. If I had a woman, yeah, I would want her to wear this. It actually smells really nice. Like I said, I don't get too much amber though right now. I mainly get the rose jasmine and like a little bit of musk in the background. But uh, let's go ahead and spray it on skin. For some reason, it smells super strong, literally from the atomizer. But then when I spray it, it's not bad at all. It's so weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just something to do with how strong or the air that's coming off it. I don't know. But let's go ahead and spray it on skin. The spray or what I was wearing today, like I said, I was wearing Montel uh, Rose's Musk today. I'm not going to do too many sprays, but we'll do enough. We'll do three sprays. So basically on my shirt, on my arm, and on the other arm. And... We're gonna just let it waft really quick. Let's see what we got. What? Why does that smell so different? Y'all. All right, Michelle, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here. It smells way more masculine. I don't know why, but that is crazy. The musk is so much more heavy on here and it's kind of like what I was saying in the beginning. I felt like the musk was going to be that thing that was going to switch it over to that like masculine tendency because more when you have musk in fragrances, it's not usually something that you see in a lot of women fragrances. I mean, it can be unisex. This is definitely meant for women, but honestly, they could have put unisex on here because I'm getting a lot more of the musk in the amber note now. Like I definitely... This smells really good. I smell the amber on the skin now for sure. That is really, really nice. Most of the fragrances I buy are blind bought, but that's not something that you should do. That's something that I'm doing because I'm trying to find new stuff. And I also want you all to know from a man's perspective, especially a woman's fragrance like this, this is so different, but it's very good. If I had to rate this on a scale to one to 10 because of how complex and just different it is, especially on a man's skin, I'm gonna give this, hmm, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. It probably might go to an eight, but I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. I wanna give it a full wearing and kinda see uh, how long the longevity and everything is. But if you're a man or a woman that have this in your collection, I'm very curious on what you all think of it. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.